I don't know why people woke up in 2024 and decided to choose violence like they have. I don't. I just don't know. Between Cat Williams versus the comedic world, uh, Stephen A. Smith versus Jason Whitlock, now Nicki Minaj versus Megan Thee Stallion, I just don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't. I know. It's a presidential election year. You know, I know I, I was anticipating shit getting spicy with that. But I guess these goddamn entertainers, they wanted to goddamn uh, uh, preempt Trump and Biden. Shit. Fuck is going on? All I know is there's a lot of people out here taking this shit way too seriously and picking sides and, and saying a bunch of crazy shit, investing a lot of time and energy in this shit, dog. We're going to talk about it momentarily. I ain't going to spend that much time on this shit. You feel me? But since I love rap music so much and since these are two of them ones, okay? These two of them ones. These, these, these women going to go down, especially Nikki. You know what I'm talking about? Megan, she carving her. Her way up in there, she's the girl right now, you know, to go along with a lot of others. So I got to talk about it. But before I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am your homeboy first, and this is the realest, most entertaining show in the game. Put it on some. Again, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that share button and put all of your people on it, okay? See, this, this, these are the times where I, I, I need me a goddamn female correspondent. You understand? I need somebody who really listens to these women all the time. Listens to Nikki and Megan and Cardi and Lotto and Glorilla and all of these motherfucking women who are in the game right now in what I call the stripper rap era. That's what I call it. The stripper rap era. Many of these women <laughs> known uh, for twerking just as much as they are for their balls. Hey, but it's the entertainment business. And beautiful women twerking gets people attention. And some of them actually be spitting. And these are two of the ones that be spitting. I've said before, Nikki a motherfucker, dog. Nikki peeing work. Been working for years, okay? But since Nikki has some competition on her hand now with Megan and Cardi and so forth and so on, seemed like shit been real contentious, okay? And I don't know what sparked this. They had a record together. They had a record together. What was the name of the motherfucking record, y'all? Y'all fans out there that fuck with both of them showing up with no quicker than I do. What was the record? Uh, Hot Girl Summer. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. They had a record together. That shit went left, didn't it? That shit went left, dog. I don't know what did it. I don't know what did it. All I know is on Megan Thee Stallion's uh, record his she seemed to be you know going off on a lot of motherfuckers it reminded me of uh hove's takeover where hove addressed a lot of folk you feel me uh some are speculating that she threw a shot at drake some are speculating that she uh well joe button himself is speculating that she threw a shot at him but most people are focused on the bar that yeah it's i'm pretty sure that bar was directed at Nick Minaj, based on, and it, it was a clever bar. Clever bar. What well, she talks about, basically saying motherfuckers ain't mad at her, Megan. They mad at Megan's law, and Megan's law is a law dealing with no sex offenders. And Nick Minaj's husband is a sex offender. Hell, I want to say her brother. She got a brother also that's a sex offender. So, woof. 
She went there. And that led to Nicki Minaj being on one. She went on like a, it seemed like a 24 hour, uh, hour tirade on social media, on various social media platforms. But she was just airing shit out, including bringing up Megan Thee Stallion's mama who has passed away and shit. God damn. Bringing up the, the uh, her ex. When the dude party, he dropped some balls about his ex. Oh, uh, of course, Megan Thee Stallion addressed him in that record too, by the way. But see, I bookmarked a lot of shit that's been said by Nikki in regards to this. I've listened to both records. You feel me? Uh, like I said, both ladies are talented. Uh, y'all, I'm going to put up a poll. Maybe I'll put up a poll and see which record y'all thought uh, was better. You feel me? Uh, but I ain't finna to share with y'all all the shit that I bookmarked because this shit ain't got out of hand. And when I say it's gotten out of hand, I'm not talking about between them. This type of shit happens in rap all the fucking time. It happens. It's rap. That, that they used to make a whole series with beef. Y'all remember them beef DVDs? Hmm. I'm sure that shit's somewhere on YouTube floating around now. But since the beginning of the rap, it's been beef. You know what I'm talking about? It's a competitive uh, sport, metaphorically speaking. Okay? It is. Uh, uh, the verbal sparring. See which poet can get out on the other one the best. Okay? So, so the battle ain't nothing new. So I'm not going to get all caught up in this shit. But so many fans. Oh, my God. My God. Oh, I'm talking about they going hard. They saying some shit. If it's some Nikki fans, they calling Megan everything but a child of God. They talking about her getting shot. They talking about this and that and uh, calling her a whore and uh, all kind of, well, I guess, Nick Minaj and nicknamed her Bigfoot. So now that's the thing with, with folks just putting a little foot emoji and shit like that. God damn, he's going crazy. Then you got uh, Megan fans. Saying that Nikki is a coked out has been, you just sit your old ass down somewhere, and you uh, Megan got a real ass, and you got a fake ass, and all that. God damn, what is going on? Now, I hope what I just saw is fake. That folks talking about uh, Nikki fans gonna go and damage the grave of Megan the Stallion's mama. I'm hoping that's fake. That's probably just some bullshit account that just said some fuck shit. I hope. Because I hope Nick Minaj ain't told her fans do no fuck shit like that. And I damn sure hope ain't nobody stupid enough to do nothing like that. Hopefully that's just some internet shit. You know, a lot of crazy shit been going on on this internet right now. People wilding, wilding, wilding. We're putting out just fake stuff to get an engagement, okay? But the real stuff, the verifiable stuff I've been seeing is nuts enough. Stop it. Stop it. Let the rap beef play out. Listen to the music. Judge who you think won with the bars. Who's winning with the bars? Okay? Because I've seen this before. Now, Tupac and Biggie, that's a separate thing. Even though I believe that those brothers would have patched things up. They were young men. They were young. If they had a chance to live, I think they could have patched things up. Okay? I, I, I say that because I've seen two rap kings and Nas and Hove patch things up. And that's after Jay-Z fucked Nas's baby mama. Hove fucked that girl, came on takeover, dissed Nas, alluded to fucking him. Didn't put that detail out for real, for real until Nas came with that motherfucking ether. For Hove's ass. Then Hove come back with super ugly and say some wow shit. Talking about skeeting in your Jeep and leaving condoms in the baby seat. Crazy shit. Saying shit like, since you infatuated with saying that gay shit, guess you were kissing my dick when you were kissing that bitch. Wow shit. And that E-boy buddy buddy. 
Let this shit play out, y'all. You saw Lil Wayne up there dissing Birdman, talking about him like a dog. Then you had folks allegedly saying Birdman was trying to have Lil Wayne killed and uh, allegedly had folks shooting at the goddamn tour bus. And now that I just saw a picture of them talking about like father, like son, and all this shit. Let this shit play out. Quit investing your motherfucking time and energy in this rap beef like that. Your ass got bills to pay, motherfucker. Shit. <laughs> Leave the folk alone. You know, listen to the boys. They're going to do what they do. And it's going to be profitable for them. It's going to be profitable for them. Like I said before, when Will Smith smacked the shit out of Chris Rock, I told y'all then. Chris Rock was going to do a special and make money off getting slapped in front of the world. And God damn it, did he not do it? Will Smith is still rolling. There ain't shit let up for Will Smith. Him and his wife still got down raking in money and getting attention. They releasing books and releasing movies and doing all this shit. They are fine. Both parties involved. Fine. Okay. Cat Williams, everybody he went at, they going to be fine. Going to be fine. Mother, when they do a special, folks going to watch it to see if they address Cat Williams. Then if Cat Williams do a special, folks going to watch it to see if he go even hard on that motherfucker. These folks going to be fine. Stop getting caught up in the celebrity bullshit and running your goddamn blood pressure up because these goddamn women can't right here, Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion can't the fuck get along. Stop it. Just judge the bars and keep it rolling. Put it on some. Please subscribe to my daddy's YouTube channel because the more subscribers he gets, the more attractive he looks to sponsors. The more attractive he looks to sponsors, the more money he can make. And the more money he can make, the more money he can spend on me.